and welcome back. We are joined in our last conversation uh, with the folks from the Our Lady of Guadalupe High School in Belmopan and um, the Ministry of Health and Wellness. And it's all about the Back to School Expo and the discussion on non-communicable diseases. Joining us in studio, we have Ms. Kathleen Azueta Cho, who is a technical advisor at, at in the HECOPAB unit at the Ministry of Health and Wellness. Joining us, we also have Jamie Nunes, who is a student at Our Lady of Guadalupe High School in Belmopan, and Mr. Emil Polito, who is also a teacher and lecturer at Our Lady of Guadalupe High School. Good morning, Good morning. everyone. Good morning. Yes, good morning. So it's all about back to school. Of course, we know our students are already back in school. Um, so why the discussion of non-communicable diseases in this back to school expo? So good morning and, and thank you for having us this um, today on your show. Um, we are having our first um, NCDs, Non-Full Belief Back to School Expo. And this is being done um, in partnership with the Belmopan City Council mm -hmm. and with um, the Ministry of Education. Mm -hmm. And we have um, Olag here being a direct representative or partner. And this is an initiative that um, we want to have, which is aligned to the national nutrition mm -hmm. policy that was recently launched. Mm -hmm. And it's really to promote or reinforce healthy eating and to also help reduce the um, high rates of um, non-communicable diseases such as diabetes and hypertension and of course obesity and overweight in young children especially our younger population mm -hmm. right so we have um, a dream versus nightmare um, i'd say addition and dream stands for diet um, rest exercise action and mindset and we credit that to the school who came up with with that bright idea can you speak to us yes. a bit more about that idea so the dream versus nightmare theme or mm -hmm. slogan is hopefully a very catchy way and the direct representation diet y you want to live a healthy long life diet mm -hmm. rest exercise um, a action take action because we a lot of us know a lot about eating and what to do but we don't do it mm -hmm. d-r-e-a-m mindset that probably is the king or the queen queen king i can i can eat better i can i can take action right so that's a little bit we couldn't create an entire seminar out of the dream nightmare logo what's the nightmare you keep drinking your two three soft drinks a day or any sugary drink and eating the same ultra refined food Guess what's going to happen? You're going to blow up in weight. You're going to end up probably with diabetes, mm -hmm. hypertension. Um, and the nightmare reality is that our statistic is saying that 36% of 13 to 15 year olds mm -hmm. are, is it obese, overweight? Overweight. Overweight. Mm -hmm. Guess what? That's a tsunami of health. You know what that's going to cost? to an individual economically and to the country, to lost productivity, to barbecues that have to be made to support some, somebody. How much does a dialysis cost? How many of us know a diabetes? So the whole idea is, let's live a dream lifestyle. The opposite yeah. of that is a nightmare. We're talking about um, this, this statistics that's uh, very alarming in, in, in our society. Uh, are the initiatives beyond this expo to revitalize or to reconstruct the the foods that are sold in schools mm -hmm. and the way that uh, kids are going to be uh, maybe eating better in, mm -hmm. in, in schools? Because if we're going to talk about diet, you're also reforming the way we teach uh, physical education, the way we um, s maneuver certain lifestyles mm -hmm. in school. How often do we get to to rest, um, how often do we get to um, go into that zen piece of mind? Students are, are at it 24 seven doing school, doing homework, whatever extracurricular activities, mm -hmm. and they are not thinking about diet, exercise, and, and maintaining a healthy lifestyle. They just want to pass and get it over with. Mm -hmm. So how are we assisting that in their social actions in school? How are we um, achieving this dream 
into their everyday lifestyle? Um, so we have um, the healthy habits, healthy schools, mm -hmm. healthy beliefs initiative that we just recently um, launched. And this is only um, you know, another initiative that is aligned to that mm -hmm. program. Mm -hmm. And we have currently 18 schools being piloted in the Belize district. And that came through um, a cabinet paper that was um, submitted to government. And we got that um, approval in this year in March. Mm -hmm. And so it's really to start, it's a gradual um, phase. And um, we know that um, behavioral change doesn't happen overnight. Mm -hmm. And so we're starting through the promotion of healthy foods, you know, encouraging schools to, to have other healthier options, increasing the physical activity, and also creation of supportive environments. And schools are already equipped to have, you know, that space setting. A lot of the schools, um, including OLAG, I know some of the schools that are being piloted um, in Kikaka, for example, they've already started mm -hmm. gradually. Mm -hmm. They have, for example, an all water day. Mm. You know, they have um, fruits being sold. So it's really just to, to encourage that and to promote that and to start the campaign. Um, and we're giving it a time frame of two to three years to, to really see um, changes mm -hmm. because it won't happen very yeah. fast. Mm -hmm. And it has to start with the education, the sensitization, um, trainings of, um, with parents, with our partner stakeholders. Mm -hmm. And this is one of the reasons we partnered with um, the school and the Belmopan City Council because they are the ones that can assist us in the creation of these spaces. Mm -hmm. So the NCD Back to School, Nofo Belize Back to School Expo, it's really just um, to, to promote or to bring awareness to the great burden that um, these non-communicable diseases are having on our country. Mm -hmm. And it's also to promote these healthy behaviors that can then help to reduce the prevalence of diabetes and childhood obesity, mm -hmm. which is very, um, alarming mm -hmm. for us it is a public health concern and this is why we're taking these steps to address that and to prevent premature mortality mm -hmm. and physical disability that can manifest in adulthood uh, let's get your take let's get your involvement in this conversation uh, what is your role in this entire uh, expo and of course bringing the awareness to students like yourself at Our Lady of Guadalupe? Well, as you're saying, I've seen that we have fruit stands at our school and mm -hmm. we are able to just go by and I'm just here and there advising them to go by for themselves instead of going to the snap shop and go buying some more sodas. Mm -hmm. Like diet, you choose what you eat and what you drink, so just mm -hmm. have the mindset to have better choices, you know. As a teenager though, let's be very honest, as a teenager, how do you see your friends and, your, and yourself as well have that self-control to eat healthy? Especially if you're on a day-to-day -day basis of, all right, I just need to get something quick and go back to my studies. How do you maintain that self-control? Um, the key to having that is consistency, probably. Mm -hmm. Starting off with limiting like part of it and then getting better at it um, <laughs> yeah. more and more. Um, well, for my friends, you know, you always have got a bit of motivation to other people around you instead of mm -hmm. just leaving them in their own world. So you've got to lend them a helping hand, you know. And what about this expo? Uh, is it like a class initiative? Is this something that you're doing as a school together? How are the students involved? Um, well, I think it's mostly as a school, and our school actually did a video on it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. What was the video about? Dream. Okay. From diet to exercise to action to mm -hmm. mindset. Mm -hmm. Were the kids involved in, in the making of the, of the theme? We're hoping to feature that video shortly here, um, mm -hmm. along with the flyer. It exposes the DREAM acronym, mm -hmm. and hopefully people will always remember, hey, 
I want to live a dream, healthy, long life, or do I want to have a nightmare? You know, how, have, how have students at Ola taken to this? We, um, we started reducing sugary drink, uh, drinks a few years ago. Mm -hmm. We don't want to mention name brands on here. And we try to promote natural juices. Uh, there's a fruit stand. Uh, you asked a very important question earlier because it's almost like uh, we, we in the Western world are so externally focused and we are all prone to various kinds of addictions. Our taste buds are attuned to sugary and salt and spicy and sweet and savory. And, and, and so it's, it's, it's we need a whole lifestyle change. Mm -hmm. It can be very challenging because we already, years ago, we met teenage diabetics already. I mean, shocking. So our teenagers are already suffering what we call old people disease. They go like, man, you know? Um, and a lot of it has to do with forgetting our beliefs and culture and roots. Mm -hmm. We're not eating okra anymore. And the chaya that could grow in our backyard and the makal or cocoa by another name. I mean, you know, every, everything in, in package. We've been so deceived by URFs in shiny package. E almost anything that is in a package is a URF. High in salt high in sugar, it, it's refined, it's mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. not necessarily the best thing. Mm -hmm. Pull your chaya, your chocho, grow your cassava, your cocoa. We have a lot going for us in our culture that we are not using and we are so focused on the external and importing, importing, if it's shiny, if it's a little package made in the U.S. or wherever, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we think it's the best thing for us. How do you think students um, are reacting to these kinds of, of um, initiatives? And I. I, I always go back to continuity, right? Mm -hmm. You want that this has you want that this has longevity, mm -hmm. that it, it doesn't mm -hmm. just stop at this expo. Mm -hmm. So how are you um, ensuring that this message stays within the mindset of these kids even after they graduate from high school? Well, um, it's currently a campaign, mm -hmm. and so the messages have to be consistent, ongoing, mm -hmm. and a lot of education has to be um, has to take place within the schools and mm -hmm. that's why we're relying on the principals and teachers and Mr. Polido is a very good role model mm -hmm. um, you know students will emulate and, and model what they see yeah. um, it's not just receiving the messages in the classroom but also getting the support from our other private and public stakeholders. Mm -hmm. So for example, at this expo, we have the NCD community that mm -hmm. comprises of the Belize Diabetes Association, the, kidneys, the Kidney Association. We have gym, mm -hmm. gyms that will be out there promoting their work. Work with the three booths. Right? right, we have um, the nutrition booths. Mm -hmm. So there'll be counseling and demonstrations on on healthy snacks, quick, affordable as well. And so we have to rely on, it's a multi-intersectorial um, approach that we have to take for it to be um, sustainable yeah. and for it to be ongoing. Yeah. Can I quickly add that sure. a win for us is, because you're, you're asking very good questions. This is not a one day beautiful but mm -hmm. magadal. One day of healthy eating, it's going to make it a lifestyle. So at our school, I'm fortunate that we have an administration that has collaborated. We're taking out an entire half day every month and calling it a wellness and moving day. Mm -hmm. Entire half day. Drop the phones. If our phones aren't allowed, you know, we want to bring, we, we're going to do yoga, meditation, sports, mm -hmm. or even if they just want to hang around. Because young people these days, if they hang around with their phones, they, there's a chance they'll be on their phones. So how about mm -hmm. hanging around and actually just talking? Yeah. So yeah. So to that point, as a result of this expo, it helped us leverage having an entire half day. I would have loved to have had two a month, but the administration is like, we'll take one as a win. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the the setup of the expo, and I and I keep coming back to the way that um, you have to reach young young mm -hmm. people, right? I we were young ones. We want we if they force to forget our expo, more than likely you're just mm -hmm. going to the wrong, come back and then not really gain mm -hmm. anything out of it. So. How does this expo maintain itself in the long run? I'm, I'm happy that he brought up the fact that you're doing monthly um, right. days of, of exercise and, and wellness, but how are you as a, as a ministry and a collaborative uh, ministry, ministries um, 
making sure or, or managing or checking in to ensure that this is actually working in the schools? So um, the schools have their curriculum mm -hmm. in place. So mm -hmm. it's really to include those um, health topics and those messages. And I'm glad to say that a lot of these schools are sharing their best practices and their best experiences with mm -hmm. other schools. So we have a committee and some of these schools are um, for membership and they are able to use that platform to share these experiences and to say, you know, these are the steps that we are taking mm -hmm. and it's um, realistic for us. Um, you set your goals and which is possible and realistic for your internal teams. And really the, the curriculum is a very good way of, of incorporating the messages. And also the, the NCD Expo, if we're using that, we have a program mm -hmm. with activities in place that will engage the students. Mm -hmm. So for example, we have um, the senior steppers from Belmopan who will be doing a physical um, you know, performance. We have Miss Karen Rosito, mm -hmm. and we have other um, you know, demonstrations on how to prepare meals and how to take your blood pressure you know, basic health screenings. And it's really, you know, students are able to, to absorb a lot of that information. Yeah. And so that's one way of, of having the, the messages ongoing. Mm -hmm. And it just have, we just have to be consistent with it. And um, I do think this is a great start. Mm -hmm. We hope to have other initiatives. Um, and this is taking place countrywide, yeah. but we are starting in Belmopan and hopefully we we move to other districts with a similar approach. Of course, um, you know, keeping the, the context and the, the, the cultural setting of those mm -hmm. districts in mind as well. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. So when and where is the expo? It's tomorrow um, <laughs> at the <laughs> Belmopan <laughs> Civic Center, and it yeah. starts at 9 a.m., and we hope to finish around 3 p.m. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we have fun activities. Um, we have our Belmopan City Council. We have the mayor of Belmopan. Mm -hmm. She will be present as well. We have the Ministry of Education. We have our director from the Ministry of Health and Wellness as well. So we really want to make it a collaborative um, initiative. And um, we are encouraging the schools in the Belmopan area to come out and to, to learn some new facts, we'll be giving away raffles, okay. uh, you know, prizes. Um, we'll even have a yoga um, demonstration toward the end. Okay. And it's re really, there are easy tips for students, teachers, and parents to follow. Mm -hmm. um, and we hope to, to have a very fun full day. You and know. anybody can come? It's Is open it? to the public. Mm -hmm. And um, we're telling everyone, you know, come in your comfy attire so you could get moving. <laughs> yeah. um, it's really something, you know, even our health insurance companies will be there to, okay. to promote what they have to offer and help parents and students prepare as they go back to school. Wonderful. And um, in terms of um, Our Lady of Guadalupe, what can we expect from you all at the Expo tomorrow? We uh, we donated time and effort into creating this video that mm -hmm. hopefully anybody can share and promote because it summarizes the five main life principles. We partnered with the Belpan City Council and the Ministry of Health. And tomorrow we are going to do a live presentation of actually what is in the video. Mm -hmm. uh, we are taking a bus at our fourth and fifth period. We, we, we plan to spend two hours there. Okay. with at least over 70 students. Okay. Mm -hmm. We can't take the whole school. We wish we could, but um, that would need about five buses. <laughs> <laughs> right, mm -hmm. and the chaperoning and all that. So we, we're going to take at least maybe about 80 students. Wonderful. Um, thank you all so much for coming in, and um, best of luck with the initiative. I, I hope to, mm -hmm. to attend. <laughs> we'll be in the development and Yes, area. we'll be in the development area. Um, but... Um, I, I do hope to see uh, a fruitful future for our young people mm -hmm. with this with this initiative. So thank you all so thank much you for too. coming in. Um, we got to take the break, and we're going to be back to wrap things up. So stay with us. Don't go away.